No problem, Panda. Uh, this is a volume of a triangular prism is 554 cubic, so cubic units. What is the unit of X? I'm not going to draw the triangular prism. I'm really, actually really, really bad at drawing, so I'm so sorry. Um, you have to bear with my drawings here. Uh, so it says volume is 54, right? So volume of triangular prism. So I'm going to say volume here equals 54 cubic units. So it's asking, what is the value of X here? And we're given, uh, we're given some... Um, some dimensions here right we're given three x's from k to l here and then i have a dimension of four from i to k and it's asking uh here uh what is this x value here so uh this is perfectly fine again this is a triangular prism so my base is a triangle and then my um and then it's a, it's a three-dimensional shape moving towards uh towards uh, uh towards height right there's a there's a volume right so it's a three-dimensional shape with this base at its uh as a triangle. So what we're gonna have to do, if I want to find the volume of this, I can honestly just do the area of the of a triangle, which is a equals half bh is the formula, a equals half bh times, and then if I want to find the volume, if I want to add a dimension to it, I'm gonna to have to multiply it by something else. So if area equals half times eight base times height is my area of a triangle, this is area of triangle. What I can do is to find the volume, I would have half times base times height, height times the length, right? I would need to multiply some sort of length to get me that extra dimension, right? So I have this, this would be my um, equation here. And then I'm, I'm already given my volume, right? It's 54, right? So 54 equals half. And then base, I need base, height, and length here. So in this case, I have, um, I can actually, I have the base here is four. So half times four. The height, I don't know, right? I know it's X. And then my height here is KL, right? Which is 3X, right? So 3X. So I can solve for this, right? So 54 half times 4 is just 4 divided by 2, which is 2 times X times 3X here in this case. I have 54 equals 2 times X here is 2X times 3X here. And then what I'm going to get is 2 times 3 uh, is 6x squared, 54 equals 6x squared here. I can divide both sides by 6, so 54 divided by 6 is 9 equals x squared. Square root both sides, I'm going to get x equals 3, right? So in this case, the value here is 3. So I have, um, again, it's uh, whatever I square root something, it could be plus or minus 3, but in this case, I can't have a negative length. That makes no sense, right? So my answer is actually positive 3. Uh, this would be positive three units. And that's exactly what they did here, right? So it's half times base times height. And then they did um, uh, uh, half, half times four times x times equals two x, which is good. We're multiplying the length of the prism. Um, and then they, they solve for this exactly the same as I did here. So I like the solution here. I wish they gave me a volume formula here. So I'm going to say great solution. Uh, hope to... Hoped, maybe I'll say hope to see a, a formula to solve for volume, but I like I li but I like the connection between area of the triangle and triangle and the uh, height. Uh, but I liked the connection, like connection you made, connection you made between area of height. So the solution is correct.